Hello makers and welcome to another studio vlog. My name is Joanna and this is Stitching the High Notes, a YouTube channel and growing online business encouraging you to stitch a little creativity and joy into your everyday life. How are you all doing? I hope you are well, that you've had a good week since we visited last. I'm doing well. I am already in the full swing of holiday project bag making, as you probably saw as I was heading over here with my coffee. I have been cutting all of this week and have just a little bit more to do before starting to really assemble everything. So I'm getting to the really fun part although I like all the parts for the most part. <laughs> but I, yeah, I'm just super excited. I've started to listen to Christmas music just a little bit. Feels a little bit too early for me still. I'm usually pretty good about waiting until after Thanksgiving, which is kind of the tradition here in America. But I, I don't know, I'm like many just craving all of the cozy comforting things right now so I might decorate next week and just go full throttle um because yeah I'm gonna be here for the most part throughout the month I won't be doing my crazy 17 hour days or whatever it was when I had my singing schedule so I'm really looking forward to enjoying home during the holidays. It's going to be awesome. Anyway, tangent, still waking up. It is Thursday morning and I'm finally back to kind of vlogging throughout the week again. I did little snippets throughout the week. Uh, I'm just looking at my window right now. It actually rained just for a little bit on Sunday or Monday. I can't remember which day and it was so wonderful. We haven't had, I think, proper rain like that since the big lightning storm this summer that started all of the started the huge round of fires here in California. I'm in the San Francisco Bay area. So it was wonderful. It was very brief. I think it lasted maybe an hour, maybe half an hour. <laughs> and I thought, oh, it's finally gonna wash my windows, but they are even dirtier. It still has all of the ash and dirt and everything. So I'm gonna have to make a plan for cleaning these puppies soon, I think. But yeah, it's a it's another cold day. The weather turned fully this week. I think I said that the last two weeks, but for real this time, it's about 35, 30 in the 20s in some areas in the morning, getting up to maybe like the mid 50s, 60s if we're lucky. And that's basically winter here in the Bay Area. So we, as usual, skip almost like we maybe get like a sliver of fall and then it's like boom winter so i've already got to get my my warmer shoes out of the closet and my shoe cabinet and my winter coat i think and at least my jean jacket which i should put some flare and some pins on there that'll be fun and yeah for my morning walks are a little bit chillier but it also means knitwear season so uh, in between making bags and stuff this week and of course work is going on work is actually quite busy right now um I'm working from home right now uh, I want to like get all my knitwear ready for the season so I'm gonna do a nice uh, sock wash um and I'll take you along with me of course show you how I do it I need to wash some of my um man-made I mean every knitwear is man-made for the most part but I think it's like mass made um knitwear that I got through Athleta I have a couple of really nice cozy long knitted wool 100% wool um like kind of jackets like coats and they haven't been washed since like March since we initially got into the pandemic so they need a good washing um there's a lot of like hand wash kind of stuff and some stuff that i haven't fully or i haven't like really blocked and i really want to soften up the yarn i made a really beautiful knitted cardigan by mina of the knitting expat a couple of years back that i really want to wear but it's with a uh, alpaca wool blend and it just was irritating my skin a lot which is why i don't wear it that much but a couple of y'all told me that I could block it and really kind of condition it a little bit. Hopefully not all y'all are screaming at me, but well, I'm gonna research it before I do it and um, just use wool wash essentially, but really let it have a good long 
soak to hopefully soften it up because I really want to wear it. It's really beautiful. Um, so yeah, and I want to cast on some full charms. I've got my DPNs set aside and knit a little bit more on my peacock shawl, which actually have made quite a bit of progress, which I'll share with you here in a little bit. I'm like totally in the middle of a row where it's like, I really need to get to the end of the row to show you it in its full glory because it's massive and I'm finally seeing the third color. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, I'll just take you along throughout the rest of this week uh, as we make bags and do all of the crafty fun things. But for now, I'm gonna sip some more of this coffee and um, get started with the work day a little bit. Just got home from a little quick trip to Joann's. I needed just a little bit more lining and interfacing for the bazillion bags I'm making for the holiday update. Um, so I got that, which is a good and a good relief. And I got another timed candle as well. I've had this one here and it's real wax on the outside, but it's a uh, battery lit um, LED and it's timed. So every day at the time that you set the timer, it'll turn on automatically. So it's very practical magic turning it on. <laughs> uh, and then it's on for about five hours, but I wanted another one. So I got this one over here. Pardon the dust. I need to dust like every three days right now, <laughs> but this is what I got up at Joann's and it's great. So. I'll put the batteries in that. It looks real, it's wonderful. It does a whole flicker action too. And I'm on the hunt always for more beeswax candles. These ones, this one, um, so I've just got my little LED lights in there now, but I burned it all the way down. And this one, the wick is still in there, but um, it's almost done. So for now, I just have these little tea lights in here. It's nice and cozy in my I moved my, um, what do we call this thing? Infuser, diffuser. I need more coffee, but I'm actually gonna make tea. A nice warm chamomile tea with some cookies before my meeting. And then, but in the meantime, I'm gonna get things set up for an afternoon break full of cutting. <laughs> couldn't resist when I was stocking up on holiday coffee. 
I saw that Nespresso has an advent calendar, so I chose one for the season. I am getting hyped for Vlogmas. So I have my 24 colors of advent skein from the Cozy Knitter. And I have this advent calendar, so I am ready. Maybe I need one more, we'll see. <laughs> afternoon it is Friday I am so happy that it is Friday I'm looking forward to the weekend I'm having a lunch break and am knitting away on my shawl I'm getting very close to the end so I'll show you what it looks like spread out right here footage from the future for me <laughs> uh, it is humongous it is beautiful the third color is really showing now this is the peacock shawl by emily walton through expression fiber arts i'm using <clears throat> pardon me 2016 legacy fiber arts hocus pocus colorways and all three of the sanderson sisters and spell book will be my final color all of the details can be found on my ravelry project page which i have linked down below as well as other information uh, in the description box below i'm loving it I'm loving it. This base of the third color is a beautiful cashmere MCN base, merino cashmere nylon, and it's beautiful. And I love, love knitting with it. The middle color, um, so I started out with Winnie is this one with the multicolors. The red is a sparkle base, and that is uh, Mary Sanderson. And then now I am on Sarah Sanderson. It's great. So the main difference is it's kind of that kind of like yellow color. I'm definitely seeing a Supreme Pizza theme here, which somebody had mentioned early on at when I was showing off the combos of the yarns and I can totally see it now. I think what's going to break it up is the spell book, which let me get it so you can see it. Hold on. Here's what that looks like. It's also on a sparkle base. Oh, look at that. The light is so pretty right now because it's about to rain. We're going to get a little spout of rain again. So it's a really cloudy, cold, chilly day. The birds just flew by. I'm in total like squirrel mode because of all of the birds flying around. But yeah, it's a really nice chill day. I did go to Joanne Fabrics again today because I needed even more lining. I'm really stocking up the shop for the holidays, so I needed way more lining. And I wanted to take advantage of doorbuster deals that they have going on. I mean, they're always going on, but especially in terms of the lining fabric that I use a lot of the time. So I went down and got more and I stocked up on white thread, which I'll be using quite a bit of for these bags. And I was excited to see when I got home that the holiday tissue paper that I got just arrived. It's so cute. I can't wait to wrap all of your, all of your orders and presents and anything that you get, um, 
for the holidays so i'm really excited to use that that's from a company that i use for all of my packaging called eco enclose i'll leave a link down below and all of their products are eco-friendly going from either totally recycled and reusable which is what i use for my poly bags they are um poly bags but they are 100 percent recycled and you can reuse them um after you receive your package you can there's another like a little tape thing on there for you to reuse it they also have total biodegradable packaging that i'd like to use down the line in the future but for a fabric bag like these are the best they're awesome and then they have 100% recycled um, tissue paper, which is what I use, and all kinds of fun stuff. So, yeah, but I'm going to enjoy the rest of my break. Oh, and I wanted to give you an update on my hopes and dreams <laughs> for doing my laundry and all of my wool washing and stuff for this vlog. It's going to have to wait for next week. It will happen next week because my family is coming down tomorrow for the day. They are in desperate need of getting out of Sacramento. We're part of our bubble, our family bubble. And this might be the last chance they get to for a while, the way things are going here in America with COVID so and with schedules and everything. So... Um, they're going to come down. The other part of the reason of them coming down is my nephew and I have really bonded lately. We're just two peas in a pod. Love that kid. <clears throat> and so he's been having a hard time um, whenever he comes back to his mom's for from his dad's. He comes in and is like, where's Aunt Doe? He calls me Aunt Doe. <laughs> and he's really missing me. I'm missing him. And we thought it might be really good for him to see where I live. He hasn't been here in over a year, so I doubt he really remembers being down here that much. So I think it'll be really good for him to be able to picture where Aunt Doe lives. And so I'm excited to spend some time with him. So yeah, so having wet wool all over the place when they're here is probably not gonna end with the weather. It's probably not gonna dry too well anyway. So I'm gonna hold off on doing that. Um, so sorry to have all these hopes and dreams but I am going to cast on later today that is my treat after the work day I am going to cast on one at least one of these really adorable fall charms so stay tuned for that but back to my lunch break I'm catching up on critical role I only watched like about half of the episode last night and um knitting a little bit and then back to work I don't have any meetings today which is good but I have some stuff to catch up on.
Good morning, makers. Happy Saturday. I have had a lovely, slow, chill morning. There was so much fog this morning. It was great. It's all burned off now, but it was so cozy and delightful. I've had way too much coffee <laughs> and I've already been around the house several times preparing for my family to arrive. They are due probably in about 20 minutes or so. So alas, I was showing you my unwound yet uh, fall charms wool from Barrett Wool. I uh, just am not going to get to it this weekend. So I'm waving the white flag, but I have it set aside. I even got my DPNs out. I almost bought some online and down the line I might, but I was like, you know, I'm sure at some point along the line I bought some size US size 3 DPNs and I did good old Susan Bates. <laughs> so I think uh, I need four for this and that's what's still in here. It looks like I had opened it up at some point, but so I'm going to try these out and see. They might be a little bit slick because they're metal, but that might actually be a good thing. I don't know how sticky I want these. I've never made like little toys before. I've made like little baby booties and stuff. So I think it's somewhat comparable to that. Um, and this will be my first, is it going to be? Yeah, it'll be my first Susan B. Anderson pattern, um, which I'm probably showing it to you in full color, but I have it printed out. Um, I just thought it would be easier. I've been very analog lately in terms of um, getting off of the screen. So, and I just thought this would be nice to have in my little bag. And I'm going to keep using this little bag that all of the wool came in as my little project bag because I love it. So something to stay tuned for. I would love to say it's going to happen next week, but it might be a Thanksgiving project um, when I'm up with my family so we'll see for right now I've got to adult a little bit more <laughs> I hate saying that term for some reason it seems so trendy <laughs> adulting but I need to adult I need to do some more adulting to get ready for their visit um, and just kind of enjoy a little bit more time off taking the day off today I'm back already because I totally forgot the most important thing for this vlog is announcing the giveaway winner for the 100th episode giveaway, celebration giveaway. I first and foremost am blown away and humbled and so grateful. I'm gonna try not to cry. <laughs> I've been crying off and on all week by your amazing, heartwarming messages and comments. Thank you all so much for the love. I am so grateful for you all and so happy that you've been along on this adventure with me here on YouTube. And as things have changed and morphed, and especially this year, I'm so, so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There were about 370 something comments. I think I actually have it right here. I used a random comment generator picker uh, that I hadn't used before, so I'm excited to keep doing this in the future. It's pretty awesome. There were 378 unique comments, so it weeded out all of my replies to some of you all that had questions and stuff. And then I randomly picked a winner, and the winner is Eliza Alyssa B. And she wrote, congratulations for a hundred episodes. I am always happy when I see your new podcast in my YouTube. Thank you, thank you so much. Reach out to me um, by email, Joanna at stitchingthehighnotes.com. I almost said the wrong email address there. <laughs> Joanna at stitchingthehighnotes.com with your mailing address. And I will mail out uh, when they are ready the a uh, pumpkin, uh, it's always pumpkin season sweater bag. When next week, I'll have a preview of all of the holiday bags. So stay tuned for that and then let me know which one you would like. And then also let me know which pattern you would like, which digital pattern. And uh, I'll start gathering that all together for you. I can't wait. So congratulations and thank you all again so, so much. Now for real, I gotta go do some more cleaning probably. <laughs>
they're here before i forget though i just had a reminder pop up i wanted to let you know that over on instagram we're running the pumpkin mal it is still going on we have a couple more weeks it ends after thanksgiving american thanksgiving and we are conducting it on Instagram. All of the details are down below in the description box. But as many of you know, over on Instagram, they've been hiding or doing some weird stuff to hashtags, meaning that you can't, when you view a hashtag or you follow it, you can't always see the latest ones. And that's as they are filtering election results stuff info. So hopefully that will end soon <laughs> i've been able to see some of your makes here and there but please do keep sharing and including the hashtag and uh gabby and i will when we can see it all we will select winners as usual for our annual pumpkin mouth okay now for real i gotta go see them i'm so excited family just left it was a wonderful wonderful day i'm so grateful that they were able to come down and spend so much time here at my home there's something so grounding about having your family in your home and it has been too long so very grateful for it and i'm happy that i'm gonna be able to see him again very soon for thanksgiving so yeah grateful that i have a family bubble situation and um yeah anyway i am going to clean up because a toddler has been here for multiple hours <laughs> it's not too bad um but it was so much fun we played video video games and took long walks outside which i took you along with me on and chatted with my mom showed her all my new sewing space and stuff i did give her the serger back so i have a little bit more room under my table which is great and yeah i'm gonna chill out and i will see you all next week i hope you have a wonderful week and always stay well and stay safe and i'll see you next sunday bye